Hey YouTubers, welcome back. I'm Amina from Amina Inspired and today I'm going to be doing the second step in realizing your goal. But before we do that, please remember to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. I will be coming up every Thursday to see you and inspire the crap out of you. So, let me congratulate you because you know that if you went through step one, the fast forward future, you have associated so much pain with that future that whatever I tell you going forward now is going to be not easy, but it, it's doable, okay? So step one is to decide what it is you actually want to do with your life, okay? Remember your brain knows that a future uninspired is painful, it wants the pleasure. So here's the pleasure. Figure out what it is you want to do. Your brain is a heat sensing missile and it wants to know what you want to do. So I'm going to give you three ways of doing it, okay? So step one was to determine once and for all that your future, uninspired, totally sucks. Well done. You've done that, so now you can move on to step two. Step two is when we bring on the pleasure, okay? So you have to decide what it is that you do want to do with the rest of your life. Remember I told you your brain is always moving you away from pain towards pleasure. And right now it's asking you, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? And so there are three ways to do it. And I love the first two ways because they are the ones that I used. Um, and it's with Ryan Tracy. If you don't know who he is, he's actually on Twitter, you've been tweeting. But he's amazing. And one of the things that he asks, this is the question that I ask everybody and this is the question that got to me. So if you want to know what your passion is, answer this question. If you were guaranteed success and you had no responsibilities, no worries, no stress, no possibility of failure, what is the one thing that you would be doing right now? Think about it. No possibility of failure. Now this thing, we call it either your calling or a talent or your passion. Whatever it is, it's your purpose in life. It's the reason you were put on this earth. So if you don't know, I've got another way of looking at it. So Brian Tracy does this amazing thing, which is also which is so cool. So he says, imagine your salary, your monthly salary or your package per year. And if you're not working it, imagine what you'd like to get paid per month and just add a zero at the end. So what this does is it blows your mind as to what is possible with your talents. So I want you to go there, I want you to think about what you need to do to earn that kind of salary. So you have your goal, your calling, and then you have this big salary because what happens when you do what you love, an accidental bonus is that you start earning more, okay? And then the third one actually happened to me, and it's, it's a bit sucky, but I'll tell you anyway. So I started to do something for the department, which I really loved, and it was exciting. And then a colleague of mine looked at me and said, wow, that was amazing, Amna. You really missed your calling. So yeah, that sucked. Because on the one hand, I was being credited for something that I really did quite well. And that person was also acknowledging the fact that my time has passed. So if you've ever been told, wow, you've missed your calling, that's your calling, okay? And you'll also know that you will, you'll do it for, for absolutely no money. You'll do it for the sheer love of it. So really take this time to figure out what it is that you want to do for the rest of your life. Very importantly, your calling is a service to other people. Okay? It's never something harmful. You can never be a successful gangster, for example. You can be a well-known gangster, but you can never be a successful one. Because success is something that is in, in service to the rest of the world. Okay, So when you do that thing that makes your heart smile, it's something that makes that is a benefit to others. Okay, So that is a characteristic of your calling. So if I have to take myself, for example, after the fast forward method, my brain started asking me, so what do you want, Amna? What do you want to do with, with your life? And yes, I love being a lecturer. It's amazing. 
But I only get to do that one to two hours per week. And the rest of the week I spend doing other things which academics do, which a lot of people don't know, and that is sit on committees, writing chapters, supervision, creating course material, going to conferences, etc. etc. So there's a whole lot of things that I do that is not really part of my calling. And if you haven't guessed it by now, my calling is to inspire others to greatness. That's why I was put on this earth. That's why I love lecturing students, because I get to engage and I get to be part of the process. And that's why I'm on YouTube, so I can be part of your journey. And you see, I'm in service to you, so it's definitely their calling. So clearly, I do love attention. And I've made that, and that is part of who I am. So this is why I decided, and I have to tell you, I was waiting in my lecture hall to be discovered by somebody. That some students, family member would say, oh my God, she's so amazing, and comes into my, I'm, this is embarrassing, okay? I'm sharing this with you, but it's, it's embarrassing. And I really thought I was gonna be discovered. And when I did the fast forward method and I realized that that's not going to happen, I bought my own camera and I bought my own studio book kit. Thank you, don't like. Mind. Um, and I decided I'm just going to put myself out there for the world because I'm not a, I'm, I am not going to be afraid of dejection. Dejection is going to happen anyway in any time, but I might as well be trying to live my best life. So I'm asking you to do the same. And write it down in the comment section. I want you to do it like this. I once was a mm, a lecturer, but now I am mm. A YouTube inspirer so I want you to do that let me be part of your journey tell me what you once were and that's what you are right now and what you want to be and I will follow you on your journey and one day we'll meet up and we'll talk about this moment so that's step two let me know how it goes don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and we'll chat soon thank you this is Amina from Amina Inspired and I am inspired by all of you